And over here, we have one milliliter of water again, but this time it's in a sealed tube. And I'm going to do something rather silly, and that's heat up this with a Bunsen flame. So we'll keep, the, uh, we'll keep a camera on this now. So we've got one milliliter of water being heated up, but this time it's in a sealed tube, so there's nowhere for the water to escape, and there's nowhere for the steam to escape either. And we've seen that one milliliter turns into, well, I think we've lost count now, but it's almost 2,000 milliliters of steam. So we'll just turn this off. Now, what's going to happen over here? We have our water being heated up, turning into steam, but there's nowhere for the steam to go. This means the pressure inside this glass vessel is building up, building up, building up, nowhere, to it for, it, well, nowhere for it to escape. Now, what's going to happen? Something's got to give. And what's going to give is the glass container. So watch very carefully. You can see the glass tube there now, and it's heating up. The water is turning into steam, which should take up much more space. Uh, but <coughs> oh, it's now gone. <laughs> and there's nothing left of this glass container whatsoever. All there is at the bottom here are tiny, tiny little fragments of glass. It looks like sand. This is some from the earlier lectures. So it's just powdered glass now. And that's because the liquid water, when we convert it to the gas, the gas takes up so much more space. OK. Right. So we've seen that we can convert ice to water by heating it up. And if we heat it up still further, we get steam. Now, we all know what temperature water boils at. Okay, so what temperature does water boil at? Want to shout it out? 100, yes, very good. So now, being true scientists, we should check this. We should do an experiment. So I shall take some water in my paper cup here, fill it up with water, and we're going to test to make sure that water boils at 100 degrees C. So I'm going to bring it round here, and we're going to heat it up. We'll check the temperature. There we are. So the temperature now is at 20 degrees. I'm going to heat it up with a Bunsen. OK. Now, is this a sensible thing to do? A good experiment? Is this a good, well-designed experiment? Well, well, let's see. OK. Now, interestingly, the paper cup is not burning. And this is because all of the energy from my Bunsen flame here is actually going into heating up the water. Now, the paper can't burn until it gets to a hot enough temperature. But the water is taking all the energy. So rather than heating the paper up at the moment, all the energy is going into heating up the water. So the water is now at 37 degrees C, 39. It's heating up. Well, we'll see what temperature this boils at. Um, actually, I think uh, Chris can give me a hand with this, please. So Chris, where is Chris? Here he comes. Perhaps you can just give me a hand heating up the water, please. OK. Keep that there. Don't burn it. Thank you. Now, I have some water over here that we're actually heating up. 